up today? My name is Trapper, and today, well, I'm going to be showing you all my loadouts, all 10 of my loadouts for what I'm doing for Call of Duty Mobile. But before we get into that, please hit that subscribe and notification bell to get notified when I upload the videos. And if you subscribe, thank you for subscribing. Anyways, let's get into the loadout. So, starting off with our first loadout, we got the DRH. So, basically, I'm going to be showing you quick. So, here it is. If you already know Ferg's loadout, it's basically Ferg's um, loadout of the gun. Just mine has the gold skin on it. It doesn't matter what skin you use. With the MW11, I'm using... This is what I'm using. I'm not going to go, like, in-depth. But the reason I'm using the um, Match Grade Tigger, it's the fastest firing gun. It's a full auto pistol, basically. And then going on to their operator, we're using the Annihilator. One of the best guns to use if you have against a Kembo Phoenix. Then going on to the, um, we're just using a grenade, we're not using anything else. Then a trophy system is going to be always. <laughs> then we got Agile for that faster speed. Vulture to pick up rounds because when it starts out, it only has 100. While the um, Dead Silence is allowing us to keep it. Just to let you all know, Dead Silence is on every single one, no matter what. Then we got the Fennec. This is for ranked, really, if I have to... If there's like people playing a Kembo Phoenix, I'm gonna be playing this. So this is a Kembo Phoenix with extended light barrel, yeah, and you get all that. Basically, it's just fight fire with fire. Cause then we're using the same MW11. So if you want to know that, then we're using the color burst frag grenade. Then a, and then agile the same thing, but with the equalizer instead. Going on to our number three, which is the Man of War Cardinal. My one of my favorite skins in the game entirely. Like, I would have to redo my skin video because this is one of my favorites. Amazing Ironsights. It has the white KM combat stock. The st stipple grape tip. 25 round extended mag. If it, I, I hope there's an M attachment for this and that would be perfection. Then the under barrel is a strike four group and then a MIP light barrel short but anyways we're going on to the next one which is the mw11 color spectrum which you got right there then we use the annihilator for that and then i match the urban tracker by night with the man of war carnal and it works perfectly recommend using it if you have it with the man of war carnal <laughs> then going on we got the hatch out perk and then the same three perks going on to number four we got the neon Grudge QQ9. So the QQ9 was a gun in season 11. A season 11 was the anniversary season, so I decided I want to make it in, and I like this version of the QQ9. I I will use the QQ9 Flood, but the main one I use is is the QQ99. Neon Grudge because it's my favorite color. And then the Spectre Spot Pixie Spy because it looks the most. It's the one that looks the best with it. I would have to say. Then for Operator Skill we got the Annihilator. Then we got for our perks is actually lightweight for faster for 10% increase in speed and damage wise. I think no. There you go. And then toughness it gives us 60% less flint. 60% less flinch. Then we got Dead Silence always. And then the Annihilator for our operator skill. And then for our stuff, it's the same thing. So I'm just going to be now going over everything else except the pistol. Because, well, the pistol, it is not useful. Now going into my fifth loadout. This is one of my, one of my loadouts I haven't changed for a while. We got the Ghost Cowboy for our one skin. Then we got the ICR-1. This is... I don't remember this, but you got all that. It is a very nice gun. The iron sights are amazing on it. So, yeah, you get that. The MW11, same thing. Tempest. Mm, Tempest. Mm. It's okay. It's not, like, really usable, but it's still okay. Then we got the quick fix and fast recovery. For fast recovery, allowing us to increase our health by 35. This is basically a long-range style of gun. Then quick face, allowing us to give us more health regeneration quicker so in a sense we this is kind of like a heal back style loadup 
Then number six, we got the HVK30 loadout. This Fergus uploaded a video yesterday of where this was like its number one spot. I'm sorry if I spoiled the video for anyone, but Ferg uploaded on this, so you can see everything right there, perfectly and everything. Then going on to the next one. Oh wait, I forgot. We got flat jacket. Pretty easy because the NA45 is a mean tracker to watch people's footprints and then dead silence. Then we got the Annihilator as one. Then we got the Type 25 Cyberspace. For our next loadout, which is loadout number 7. I know I'm talking a little bit fast, but the Type 25 Cyberspace, here you go. Then going, and you can pause at any point in the video if you need to. Oh yeah, there's a little thing with this. I forgot to switch it, but if you want to know my different version, this is the version I had it before. I usually always have it like this, but I usually forget. We got the transform shield for the operator skill. I think that's up. Yeah, it's operator skill. And then for the perk, we got lightweight hardwire, so we can be immune to counter UAVs and EMP grenades, and we got the rune spade skin. Then going on to the next one is the HBR A3 Gold. This gun is very nice. The only thing I would have to change about it is probably put on a the step of I don't know. I can't tell you right now. I still have to change up some stuff. Then we got a trip mine of um, flashbang. I think that's a flashbang. I still want to change that out a little tiny bit. Then we got the ghost jawbone, the one that looks the best on it. I would have to say right now. And then the color spectrum MW11 is the same thing with flak jacket, ghost, and alert. So it will show a general location of your enemies on the mini map as they approach. Then going on to number nine, we got the DLQ or my sniper loadout. So this loadout is very dirty. I usually use it because I like the neon glitch. I would have to change up the gun though, no the character. But we got a 4 8 standard without WC. Yep, you get all that. Then we got our axe instead for our secondary. There is no particular skin on it. The only thing I have on it is the um, black top version of it. But anyways, that's not really. It doesn't show up in like the game. Then we got the annihilator, perfect. And then we got fast recovery, toughness and dead silence going on to our number 10 loadout this is my troll loadout if i'm getting a little bit more if i'm getting a little bit more and i'm not using this loadout but if i go against the na45 player i'm gonna pull this out like i don't use this but this is a troll loadout so we got the scout 2 doesn't even have a skin yet which it comes with the skin this season the na45 there you go the only thing i would change is probably put like Maybe, I don't know, I'm going to still work on this stuff. If you have any recommendation for any of these loadouts, please put them in the comment section. But then we got flap, flat, flak jacket to keep any 45 users away from me. Then we got trip mine and a trophy system so we can use just in case of anything. The Tempest to be a little bit more trolly and dead silent. So if you have any questions, for any of my loaded, please put them in the comment section. But anyways, my name's Trapper, and I hope you all have a great day.